Aging Technology Alliance, or agetech.org for short, and that's our website, is a group of companies that is focused on making the world better uh, for the people in our society who are so important to us, our elders. And we have 50 companies right now who are all working towards uh, bringing new technologies to market to help those seniors be able to age in place uh, and also to have a better quality of life in uh, their uh, assisted living facilities or other uh, places where they reside. And it's a brave new world of technologies that are out there to help people age in place and because they usually do want to stay in their own homes. And so you can find more about us at agetech, A-G-E-T-E-K dot org. Hi, Steve. I'm Merle Eakins with Telecom. Thanks for stopping by the booth. Let me tell you what we have here. This is the easiest to use computer in the world. We designed this computer to be the easiest to operate, easiest to use computer, really designed for everybody. Our initial thought was that our, the baby boomer and beyond generation that it was perfect for, but we're finding that there's much more people who just are tired. They don't need a business computer. They wanted something that's easy to use. They're tired of the hassles and viruses associated with some computers, and they're finding this to be a wonderful alternative. 90% of whatever anybody does with the computer, you can access by touching one of these buttons. Also on the home page, we have a message board. The message board is integrated with all the other functions. For example, on your calendar, if you have an appointment that day, it shows up in your message board and tells you you have an appointment. Access those, all you need to do again is touch one button. And it gives you instant access to whatever you want to look at. Hey there. So, uh, Bluetooth Special Interest Group is basically the trade organization that has developed the Bluetooth. Uh, uh, specification that can connect a lot of different tech, uh, wireless devices or devices together. Uh, whether it's a mobile phone, a headset, or now with the new specification of the technology version 4, also small sensors typically, typically catering to healthcare, elderly care, sports and fitness. Hi, my name is Kip Meekum. I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Business Development for Close By Network. We are a company that produces aging in place technology to allow elderly people to age in their own homes, monitored by their own family, friends, and loved ones, using a network of sensors that are passive, that don't require the elderly person to live any differently than they already do. We can monitor heat levels, motion levels, lighting levels, pressure levels, so we can know the activity levels of someone living in their own home and communicate that out to family, friends, and loved ones over a secure secure web connection using uh, SMS text messaging and using email. So that's what we do. Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Savile, and I'd like to show you Vitalink. Vitalink is a wonderful new software program that's available on the market. It's software that is downloadable through the internet. And as you can see, the screen allows, at the touch of a button, the older adult to remain connected with friends and family worldwide by simply touching a button or clicking an icon with a mouse. We can reach out and connect with friends and family worldwide. Now, it's taking a moment for the screen to come up because there's a lot of people here at CES and a lot of Internet use. But here we are talking to Carol. Hi, Carol. We see you, and you are beautiful today. Okay. I'm going to hang up. Thanks, Carol. All righty. Bye-bye. Take a picture. So that's Carol. It's as easy as that to reach out to friends and family worldwide. We have also built in uh, games. We've built in news and weather and sports and photos. I, as, a, as an adult child, can, can just send my photos to my parents, photos of my kids or recent vacation. And at the touch of a button, my mom or dad can touch the button and up pop the photos and they cycle through. Or they can advance the screen themselves. The same thing with videos, with movies. Here's the news. Let's say you're interested in top stories. Well, here's the story. What's that all about? You touch it, it comes up, and if the print is if the print is too small, well, we just make it a little bit bigger, as large as your eye needs. 
Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm Joe Boyle from LifeCom Corporation, and today we're showing our mobile personal emergency response device. This is a self-contained cellular and GPS device to provide independence, yet safety and security monitoring and peace of mind for today's active senior. This device can provide not only two-way voice communication, but also fall detection, notification zones for movement of the person, full web interface to access account data and configurations, and give people who are active and yet want the security and peace of mind of the safety and monitoring the freedom without a stigma attached. Okay, Grand Care System is a communication, cognition, wellness assessment, and activity of daily living monitoring system that can help someone stay independent, active, and safe in their homes for longer periods of time. And what happens is we place the home into a uh, into someone that's trying to age responsibly or live independently, and this system communicates with various wireless sensors all around the home. We have everything from motion, temperature, door, bed, chair, um, tele-wellness sensors such as blood pressure device, weight scale, and, uh, and caller ID sensor, and sensors that can turn on and off lights. And the caregivers log into our website and they can see the graphs of those sensors, and also they can set up parameters. Call me if mom gets out of bed during the night and doesn't return within 45 minutes. Um, send me an email if, if she doesn't take her blood pressure. If she has an excessive weight gain, um, call her caregiver directly. And then meanwhile, we sort of have a socialization aspect of the system where caregivers can send pictures, messages, emails reminders, calendar appointments, they can Skype, it's got a built-in webcam here. And what we've done is we've just made the interface extremely user-friendly and easy so there's no ways to, uh, to, to, to mess up on anything and it's not complicated. So, Idea Life is an end-to-end -end solution of Bluetooth wireless monitoring devices of vital sign data that uh, is very easy to use. Uh, we're out in the field now as a business-to-business -to, -business to health plans. We're going direct to consumer now. We're going to go through big uh, uh, box uh, distributors, retailers to uh, put together programs for caregivers to look after seniors or loved ones that have chronic conditions. Hi, I'm Peter Ratzlaff, CEO of Presto Services Incorporated, and we are the developers of the Presto Computerless Email uh, Solution. And that is uh, this printer that is made for us by Hewlett Packard. It has a modem inside, connects to a regular phone line, and it allows the entire family and friends of a senior who doesn't use a computer or who struggles with one to be able to participate in those great family email chains with photos of the grandkids and be able to fully digitally connect into the family. So hello, my name is Mine. I work for TV Ears. I'm a sales representative for TV Ears. Basically, TV Ears is designed to, to help people that um, have trouble um, understanding sometimes the clarity of the dialogue on the television. So we use these headsets here that are basically designed to amplify the sounds of the TV, not just give you amplification, but the clarity of the dialogue. This is a TV Ears headset so you wear on your ears simply. We made a very simple hookup. It's a transmitter that you place right by your television. There's two wires. You connect it to the wall to give it power, and then you can connect the audio cord to the TV, cable box, satellite box, and it pulls the sound out. The TV is supposed to be to 120 decibels. The volume lasts about six hours, and uh, the batteries normally last about one to two years, and it's a rechargeable headset here. Hi, my name is Raj. Uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Vizen Electronics. And this is a watch. It has an inbuilt GPS, medicine reminder, fall detection, and it acts as a Zigbee hub. So it interacts with all these gadgets, like the body scale, chest belt, um, pulse oximeter. So every time the patient checks all these values, it's automatically transferred to the watch, and the watch sends it to a server, so that the customer can go online, he can can see log into their account, they can see how their values are, how they were like one year back, how they were now. So make sure they stay fit forever.